everyone, and thank you for tuning in. You're watching In the Studio. I'm your host, Lynn Weaver. The program is brought to you by Davis Media Access, and it broadcasts on Davis Community Television. That's uh, Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T U-verse Menu 99. We're also online, so uh, take a peek at some point. Today I have a very exciting topic to talk about and two very interesting guests. Uh, the topic is a huge uh, event called SACSYNC, don't you like the name? And we're going to hear more about uh, this uh, fantastic event uh, from our two guests. And uh, our guests are David, uh, David Luthboro. Yeah. He is the board member of the Sacramento Choral Coalition and a musician himself. And then, of course, Dick uh, Franz Reb, and he's the executive uh, Sac Sing or Sacramento Choral uh, Festival. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You. I appreciate your time. And uh, we're going to talk about something very exciting uh, today. And uh, you hopefully you're going to um, uh, in inspire me with this. <laughs> so I, I like stats. And I see here 20 choruses, eight concerts, and a thousand singers all in three days. Yes. Yes. My goodness. So the first thing that uh, I want to uh, perhaps ask Dick is, uh, tell me about this idea. All right. And how to. it came about. Well, I think it uh, probably began in all the way back in 2011. Uh, I had been singing in area choruses for most of the 30 years that I've lived in the Sacramento area. And I left the chorus that I was with and realized that there were many other choruses that were performing in the area. So I had the idea of starting a website that would list all of the public performances of the choruses. And uh, there that are... That in itself is, a, is quite a job. It? <laughs> it is indeed. Yes. It is indeed. You have to be retired to have time to do that, which I was. <laughs> and the I discovered soon that there were on the order of uh, 60, 70, 80 choruses, independent or university affiliated. And uh, as I listed their concerts, I, I became anxious to hear them. And so I began attending as many concerts as I could. And in the spring of 2012, I started uh, writing reviews of the performances. And uh, over the next a year and a half, I wrote or had associates write uh, around 80 reviews of about uh, 40 uh, choruses. Choruses. And That's extraordinary. Well, it, it was, I, I quickly found that uh, they needed publicity. Mm -hmm. I saw people who were doing excellent work, and yet uh, the audiences were thin, and uh, they would perform, and it would be over and there would be nothing to show for it, typically. And um, so I began to think, what, what could be done to encourage uh, greater public appreciation of all of this choral activity? And it was the spring of um, this last year, yes, uh, around May, that I uh, thought of sending an email message to David Peer, who's the director of the Harris Center. Yes. And, and, and for, the, for our viewers, the Harris Center is the new performance hall in Folsom? That's correct, at Folsom yes. Lake College. Folsom Lake College, which is magnificent. Yeah. Uh, I, I've seen it uh, on your website, as, yeah. a, as a matter of fact, yes. It's a beautiful facility. Yes. And it seemed like it would be a great venue for bringing together many choruses. Well, what a wonderful idea. Well, it, I thought so, but I wasn't sure that David did because uh, I didn't get any and answer. David is sitting there. No, this is the other one. This oh, is the, that's the, another David. The executive oh, director. That's right. You and just mentioned him. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I waited uh, a month before I heard from him. He finally said that, uh, let me know that another group had vacated a uh, time on their calendar that would be available year after year. And would we be interested? 
So um, I convened, I invited uh, some 40 choruses to an organizational meeting that took place last July. And I was overwhelmed by the enthusiasm of the, uh, the, the members of the, the representatives of the choruses. And so we began immediately to organize. And uh, that, was, uh, that was the beginning. And we had a festival planning committee that began to meet. We soon realized that we needed a corporate structure mm -hmm. to limit liability and to provide continuity. Mm -hmm. And so it was back in October that we formed the Sacramento Valley Coral Coalition, which is a nonprofit California corporation, uh, which uh, we decided would have not only the oversight of this festival and any future festival, and frankly, we plan to do this again. Of course. <laughs> and we can talk about this uh, later on, yes. Right. But um, we also have the, have the broader function, a broader purpose of the coalition to um, foster choral singing in the greater Sacramento area, whatever we can do to help yes. at all levels, yes. which would, you know, uh, adult, school, whatever. Yes. And uh, also to facilitate cooperation among the many choruses. And, and give them strength, yes. We'll be coming back to uh, both the organization of uh, and what happened and also talk a little more about your background because okay. I really want to learn more about your, your, your wonderful activities. But let's go to David now and, and tell me uh, the same thing basically. How did you get involved? And I understand you're also the webmaster of your um, uh, website, which I believe is, uh, and we'll have it displayed, is sacsings.org. Yeah, S-A-C-Sings.org. Yeah, yes, which yeah, is a very I, nice, catchy title. It was. Whoever it came a, up with was that, him. that was him. <laughs> so tell me about how uh, were you dragged into this? I actually was dragged. Um, <laughs> uh, See, I guess. Of course, I, I sing with the uh, Grass Valley Male Voice Choir. It's uh, about a 45 voice choir up in the foothills. Yes. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And I was just, I'm involved with that leadership and, and uh, the fellows that were, uh, and the lady that is our director attended this first meeting. We were the first group to step up and say, we'll put our money down and say uh, that we would support the effort. Yes, and, uh, yes. Um, so that was, that was great. And they came back, but the representative felt... Um, that he didn't have the bandwidth to make it down to meetings and so forth to actually be on the... On By the, bandwidth, you mean time. Time and, time yes. and effort and energy. See, there's a techie speaking yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so they were going to... They had an open house, so we were going to go see the facility, and I'd never been. And I said, well, I'll go represent our choir and go take a look. And um, met the folks, met some of the organizers, and I was hooked. He had dinner with us, and we wouldn't yeah. let him go. Yeah, so they said, well, we'll invite you to the first, uh, the first committee meeting anyway, you yes. know, even if you're not going to do it. Just come, you know, and see. And see, and, yes. Uh, and so the rest is history. I jumped in on it. I, I really just have felt um, touched by it. I think it's, it's yes. a thing that as time has come, and I'm so excited about uh, the potential for it, not just the, the festival itself, but um, the, also the yes. broader vision, which I think we'll talk about later. But Yes. Um, yeah. Well, it, it, it's a, I like the word touch that you use because this is how I felt when I first saw the brochure. Uh, and it's just such a wonderful idea, and nobody can deny that. So I'm, I, I can understand why everybody was taken in by this, uh, this uh, very original idea. Um, just a, a quick question. Um, uh, you are a musician too, and you sing, and uh, uh, what voice do you have? I'm a baritone. Baritone. Yes. And uh, you, Dick? Bass. A bass, yeah, yes, with a voice like that. <laughs> Very nice, yes. And did you, uh, no, and I'll start with David again, but uh, did you um, sing for a long, long time? I've been singing since I was a kid in church choir. Yes, uh, Children's great. church choir. Yeah. Um, didn't sing a lot in school because I was in band, but was always involved in music. Come from a musical family. Mm -hmm. And um, ended up in college in several things, in church work. Uh, working in several choirs, youth choirs, and uh, 
uh, youth kind of thing. And then um, maybe a 20-year gap where I did maybe a, just a just singing in the congregation, but uh, yes, then... Yes, because you were busy, I suppose, with yeah, the work and other things. learning all those website things. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, oh, I think it was 98 or 99, I got involved with um, the Windy City Performing Arts, which is a, a large four-course group in Chicago. And um, got involved in the leadership of that, and um, uh, we participated in large festivals um, across that was really international conferences. And um, that was so exciting to go to those conferences. I think that that's really, um, that was a hook that I said, you know, I wish my choir, my little choir in the Gold Rush country would uh, have that experience of joining <laughs> yes. with hundreds and thousands of other people to yes. uh, see the experience of what those choirs are doing, and also just the experience of being together and rubbing, being together, rubbing yes. shoulders. So, yes, oh, it, 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 and also exchanging ideas uh, and music, yes. uh, scores and things. Yeah. And, and Dick, you, you said you've been singing for many, many, many years. Yes. Yeah. And how did it all start? Did you come from a musical family? Well, first of all, I w wanted to know, so you represent, you're in the choral the chorale of Sacramento? No, no. I'm, I'm not in a singing organization at present. Oh, not, you, not at present. Uh, no. No, I, could, we couldn't, I couldn't be doing what I'm doing now and still be in the <laughs> and in <singing>. organization. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, uh, I blame my high school choir director. Oh. Um, I didn't want to sing. I hope he's not watching this. He's passed on. Oh, okay. Wonderful man that he is. <laughs> but um, I was too shy to sing, mm -hmm. and he got me over that. Mm -hmm. And I sang in high school and college. And uh, in the intervening years, it's difficult to maintain a commitment to a chorus when you uh, have a young family and are um, trying to build a career. Yes. But um, we've, I've lived in the Sacramento area for 31 years now, and I sang with the Sacramento Symphony Chorus for a number of years. And then most recently, for 15 years, with the Sierra Community Chorus out of... Um, Oh, Sierra yeah, College in Rockland. Them. Yes, of course. Yeah, they, their name changed to the Placer Pops Chorale three years ago. And um, I left them at that time. It had nothing to do with the name change. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but I just needed uh, freedom and a new experience. Yes. And, uh, and I love choral singing. I've learned to love all different kinds of it. And in the intervening years, I've experienced many more types. Mm -hmm. uh, experimental, yes. uh, barbershop, uh, jazz... There's just barbershop. so many. Oh, gosh. Oh. Barbershop's wonderful. Yeah. Can you give us a definition <laughs> of what a barbershop? Well, barbershop... For all the ladies who are watching... <clears throat> well, there's the ladies' barbershop choir. Oh, there are. Yes. Oh, okay. Come to, the, come to the festival and you'll I see... I will. You'll see there course. are... And since we are talking about the festival, give us the dates. Oh. Uh, so it is July... June. Oh, sorry, there is one session in June, yes, yes. June 13th to 15th. That's it. Uh, that's it. There's one weekend. Oh, I'm sorry. So it is, that it. So yes. it's, it's uh, three days mm -hmm. and a thousand singers. Right. <laughs> I'll Keep start again. Back. We'll explain <laughs> yeah. that in a minute. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's uh, June 13th, uh, and, and here it is uh, on, on the screen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, sorry, so uh, you were talking about this great event, yes? Yeah, well, let, let me fill that in. It's yes. a Friday evening, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and Sunday afternoon. There are two concerts at each time. Yes. And, of course, we don't have a 1,000 people in the theater at each of those times. It's a 1,000 people who are involved, almost a 1,000, yes. over that whole weekend. Yes, yes. Well, I would imagine that, yes. But the structure of it is we have five choruses um, performing in each concert. They each have 20 minutes mm -hmm. to give their best. Mm -hmm. And so right now, they're rehearsing. I was going to ask you that. 20 minutes, it's <laughs> a short time. It is. Yes. Um, but, um, and it puts them on a little bit of pressure on them. Yes. Uh, but for the audience, it's great. Because yes. everybody brings their A game. And... Um, uh, and, it, and each concert has a great deal of variety in it. Uh, everything from, as I said... So you've planned the, uh, the program carefully, yes? Yes. 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 Um, 
Yes, we have some of the, many of the choruses are performing more than once. Mm -hmm. Some are performing only once. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two theaters, uh, the main six eight hundred and sixty seat theater, mm -hmm. uh, as well as a one hundred seat recital hall, that mostly will accommodate the smaller groups. Right. And uh, but it sounds all like a concerts. fantastic mm -hmm. uh, festival. Wonderful, <laughs> uh, and and the organization must be. Uh, uh, a terrible headache, but... Uh, headache? No way, it's been great fun. Good. Well, it is fun. Yeah, it's it is fun. fun. Yes. Uh, we were having so much fun that we said, uh, we had at our, at our annual business meeting, yes. uh, we said, you know what, let's make Dick the director so he can even have more fun. <laughs> well, it's, no, it's, it's yes. really been a joy from the beginning. The, yes. the amount of cooperation that we've had from each yes. chorus has been enormous. Yes. And then we have a a fine group of uh, eight uh, or ten people actually in our board yes. who are, are cooperating beautifully with one another. Um, and the, there's a smaller eight-member festival planning committee who are handling all the details. Yeah. David, for example, will be handling most of the logistics of that weekend, mm -hmm. as well as his work, as, which was brilliant, by the way, as a webmaster. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, and uh, have you had cooperation from the staff in Folsom, from oh, the theater? Gosh. Wonderful yes. people. We spent actually the afternoon there yesterday um, walking through the facilities again yes. Yes. and uh, planning what's going to happen in each venue and, and where the course is. You, you ought to understand that besides what the audience is going to experience, yes. uh, what I was saying earlier is we want an experience for the participants as well. And that's the beautiful thing about it. And so it. Yes. what's going to happen behind the stage, of course they're going to sing for 20 minutes, but they're going to actually participate uh, in listening to the rest of the performances in an off off stage area, yes, yes, um, there'll be uh, interaction between the between the groups, and we hope friendships will build, and so there'll be a, this great opportunity to hobnob behind the scenes while the audience is enjoying the performance. So, so from what I hear, this is a, 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 such a multifaceted event. It's an educational experience for the singers. And obviously for the for the audience, it, it's also a social event uh, where brings people together with different backgrounds and everything. Hopefully, will create friendships and and uh, collaborations, exactly. uh, and also it will give visibility to these groups uh, that work so hard and uh, bring music to Sacramento. It sounds wonderful. Well, we're going to have each group. Um, display a bit about themselves to for the audience to see even the groups that the audience is not hearing that night all 20 groups will have a display area Wonderful. where people can learn about them yeah. find out how to join that group perhaps uh, um, find their website and get more music from them or uh, certainly attend their concerts there's each individual concerts throughout yes. the next year yes join mailing lists and all that kind of stuff and since we are in Davis, is the Davis group going to participate? Oh, of course, yes. Okay. Th there are three local groups that will be part of this festival. The uh, Vocal Art Ensemble, a small mixed uh, chorus, which is directed by Tracia Barbieri. Yes. The Davis Chorale, uh, which is a larger mixed chorus that is directed by Allison Skinner. Mm -hmm. And then the Woodland Chamber Singers will be participating as well. They're directed by Lenore Heinsen Turner, Turner Heinsen. Turner Hunter. Well, that, this is wonderful. So they'll be there. So um, uh, please come. <laughs> I mean, I certainly plan to on, on going yeah. and uh, it will be very nice. And you don't have, once again, you don't have to be there all three days. No, uh, of course, if you come to uh, a concert, you'll get exposure to five of the choruses. We hope people will come to multiple concerts. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would be, I think, the way the schedule's worked out, it would be virtually impossible to hear all 20, mm -hmm. sadly to say. But um, it, would be, it would be well to uh, come. And for the folks in Davis, don't just come to hear the local choruses. Come to hear the Amador Choraliers <laughs> who rehearse in Sutter Creek. Or come to hear the Grass Valley Male Voice Choir. <laughs> <laughs> very good point. Very, very good point. Well, um, I wanted to revisit the genre. Uh, uh, of of because uh, uh, and uh, maybe we can show 
this brochure. Um, this is the, the brochure. And uh, let's see, here we go. Can we see the brochure? Yes. It's available was, on, online as well. So it, it's should. online on, on Saxing. Yes. Uh, and uh, also, I was, I was fascinated by here on the right-hand side, all the genre that you have. You've got pop and spiritual and classical and uh, etc. So let's revisit those. And of course, we got distracted, but I want to see, hear more about this uh, barber shop. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> so, David, do you have a. Well, yeah. Uh, so, um, um, my group, for instance, yeah. sings what we call traditional. Uh, we sing can you, old can you favorites. Yes, yes, old favorites of, uh, from Broadway songs, um, traditional English, and, and we have a Cornish background in. in uh, nice. Up there yes. in the, the gold yes. country. And yes. we sing some, some of the traditional Cornish hymns and English uh, folk songs and yes. that kind of thing. So, yeah. uh, and then American, Americana. Yes. So, so that's our genre. But uh, Barbershop has a different sort of harmony. They're always um, unaccompanied, they're always a cappella groups. Um, taking after the, uh, what is the 1880s, the Roaring 80s, or the. Oh, I um, see, yes. That style of music is very tight harmony. Um, usually the melody is not the top, uh, the top note. Yes. And uh, so it's a it's a form of jazz. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and tell some. Yeah, others. please go our, ahead. Our barbershop. Jump in. Our barbershop friends are going to be disgusted with us for not having a better definition. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't have a textbook. <laughs> you definition. just have to come and hear it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's good. That's good. And it, it, but keep the title because uh, the genre because that's very very nice and catchy. Yeah. So it's very well, nice. And uh, let's let's go down the list a little bit. Is uh, uh, what is your uh, genre uh, uh, when you used to sing, of course? Well, um, it started with classical. Yes. Uh, I mentioned that I had sung with the Sacramento Symphony Chorus. Yes, I, yes. And we performed exclusive, almost exclusively classical literature, major works by and large. And so uh, several of the groups uh, specialize in the classical repertoire. Yeah. I think that'll be true of the Davis Chorale, for example. Um, but... Uh, Renaissance. Uh, there, we have the Renaissance, yeah, the, the Renaissance, Renaissance the Madrigals, Choir. Sacra madrigal, yeah. Yeah. Well, Renaissance. we don't we don't have a Madrigal group per se, yeah. but um, there is uh, many different styles of classical music that will be represented. Mm -hmm. um, and a, another experience I had with the other chorus, the Sierra Community Chorus that I participated in so long, was um, we performed a great deal of Broadway and Hollywood uh, Lovely. music. Lovely, yes, and they're so, always popular. That's they're, right. Uh, they're, there will be a lot of that, I yeah. think. Um, there will be some jazz um, uh, from some of the groups. And, um, well, let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, we have the art pop. Songs, spiritual, jazz. The pop, the uh, spiritual, of we course. Have, the... We have at least one group that specializes in new music, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, serious music, Vox Musica. They are, they're at the leading edge of choral music. And uh, you'll never know what they might be <laughs> performing. It's always intriguing to yeah, me. We might call it contemporary classical music. Right. Uh, it's 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 very modern and mm -hmm. with elements, of course, pulling from jazz and everything else and classical structures. But it's yeah. it's modern. Very I've modern. heard some of that. Uh, I don't remember where. And it's uh, extraordinarily powerful. And 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 if it's good, it can be. A wonderful new genre in a way, yeah. Um, another question that I have for the for David, uh, and and that would be, uh, are you planning on recording on taping some of these? Uh, that's no. a very good question, and I would have to say that it's an open question. It's an um, open question. Yes. We we intend. We really are here to showcase the uh, our groups and and the live performance uh, and the live performance yes. certainly. Um, we have the potential, we've discussed it, but we haven't made a decision that there would be a festival tape. Probably not. Yeah. But each chorus uh, may have things that they've recorded from their own work. That's right. And, uh, and maybe for even from this concert. So that could happen in that way. Yes. But I think we would rely on our, our participating groups. This is really a um, festival 
is a is a destination and really but the yes. you know but the the sites you're going to see at this destination are going to be the groups that are participating yes well i i asked the question thinking that uh, it would be very complicated and getting the permissions and all it that is, it's a and actually uh, uh, getting the tapes we'll see, maybe next year maybe yes uh, and that brings us you said the word that brings us to <laughs> the future right. you're going to start do you okay. have any plans and then i'll go to dick <laughs> well, I've been voted on the board for two years, so that's a <laughs> there's my plan. No, I think we definitely see uh, a future to this, and I'll let Dick elaborate on some of the plans we have outside of the festival. But certainly, we see this festival, if we're at all successful, uh, continuing year after year. We actually have book dates for next year. Yes. Uh, so that's uh, at least we're that far along. Yes. And uh, I'll let Dick describe some of the plans that yes. the coalition has had. Yes. We have very little time. The time went very fast. Oh, so if you could uh, tell us very quickly, we, we have about uh, uh, just, just a synopsis. Well, save June 12th to 14th, 2015. Yes. That'll be the next festival. Good. We are thinking about possibly having festivals or group performances that will involve high schools. Yes. Colleges. Church choirs, yes. children's choirs, these are all, to the extent these groups are underserved, we hope to be able to fill a need. Good. So. Well, that's, that's, that's wonderful, and I wish you the very best of luck. We, we will get back to you in contact after the festival, so you can tell us about it. Oh, How is that? Sounds great. So, um, our time is up, unfortunately. Thank you so much, uh, David and Dick, uh, and uh, good luck with everything. Again, the website will be uh, shown, and there it is. And uh, you've been watching in the studio. I'm your host, Lynn Weaver. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, thank you uh, to our technical team, Bryce, Daniel, and Diane, of course. Um, and from all of us here at Davis Media Access, uh, till next time.